Gentlemen, congrats on a great game and a win and advancing to Sunday's final match. Uh, once again, we'll open with an opening statement from Coach and then we'll have questions for the players. Um, uh, well, first off, congratulations to Stanford on an amazing year again. Um, uh, they are, as, as I think we mentioned yesterday, the you know the the, the cream de te, creme de la creme, right, of, of college soccer over the last five years. So um, a, a tribute to them to get back to another uh, college cup and um, a tough, tough, tough game with the conditions. I mean, I think the the rain was was uh, and the field being a little heavy was was as much of the story as how the game needed to be played as, as anything else. Um, Having said that, I think uh, also a, um, credit to the grounds crew for getting it as playable as it was. I think they worked really hard to to try to to try to get the the, the water off and and uh, made it made it into enough of a soccer game for us. So um, we're thrilled. We're thrilled to keep going for another one more one more uh, one more round of soccer. We're we're ready to go. Once again, please just raise your hand and state your name and what, your affiliation. Thank you. Hi, uh, Sean. Steve Goff, The Washington Post. Uh, take us through your your goal. Uh, so, knew the ball was coming out first. I knew the second ball coming. Uh, definitely wasn't expecting to shoot it. Didn't know how it was going to come to me. Saw Nios on the right side was going to ball. Thought the ball was going to go that way. He was going to play him one one time and he was going to cross it. But fell right to me and I was like, might as well shoot it. And <laughs> good thing I did, I guess. <laughs> you're, you're playing. You're a defensive-minded player. Yeah. Uh, that opportunity comes up uh, once in a, maybe not a lifetime, but mm -hmm. not very often. Mm -hmm. What's um, what's it like to strike a ball like that? Uh, I was telling the guys in the locker room, it's probably the cleanest I've ever hit a ball. Uh, it just felt good right off my foot. Uh, like you said, it doesn't come, opportunity doesn't come a lot, so got to make the most of it, and I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John Fanta from the Big East Digital Network. Guys, congratulations. Uh, Jacob, we've talked about your season. Tonight, the two guys to your left, they, they end up at the top of the stat sheet. Uh, how much was this win a testament to this team's depth? No, yeah, I mean, since the beginning of the year, we've always had players coming off the bench and even making the game a lot better for us. Um, I mean, Zawa, he's usually a 90-minute player for us, so the fact that he got that goal, uh, I mean, it was an amazing strike, and then Foster coming off the bench, giving all the energy he does. Uh, I was just so happy for both of them um, to, to you know, get on the score sheet and put our team ahead today. Foster, how did that moment compare to your wildest dreams? Uh, it's unbelievable. Um, <laughs> in a game like that, uh, it doesn't have to be the prettiest goal in the world, so I'll take it. I think the guys will take it, and uh, anything to get us on to Sunday is uh, is worthwhile. So you saw us sliding into the corner. It means the world to us. So. Uh, anything to go on a Sunday, and we'll be there ready to play, that's for sure. Yeah, Foster miscalculated the distance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our, our trainer's got some work to do after that. It looks like, so. And then, Sean, it, to just reflect a little bit, now you've, you're 90 minutes away from a national championship, and tonight you beat the team that's been the dynasty 2 nothing. Like, How does this group just keep outdoing itself? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. We're, we're a group of guys that just wants wants it so much. Uh, history of this program, you know, we've gone through a lot, and now recently we're starting to get towards the top, get towards the top, get towards the top. And the guys in the locker room, it's just the, our uh, mentality is it's incredible. We want it so bad. Jacob, what were what were the conditions actually like on the field? Um, how difficult were they? And then what? How does it change the game? given the conditions when Sean scores a goal? Yeah, uh, for sure. I mean, obviously it was really hard to play kind of our style, to implement our style in that game for the, re for the whole game. Um, even Coach said, yeah, it's not the best when we're playing against Stanford, and then he sees the crew trying to fix up the field before the game for us because you know, our, our style, we like to play on the ground. We like to keep the ball and dictate the game. Um, but uh, today was just a game we had to fight and win, and when Zawa scored that goal, it was obviously a confidence boost for everybody. Um, <laughs> and it just got the whole team hype. And, and uh, throughout the rest of the match, I think we just kept fighting. No matter what was going to happen, we were going to fight through anything. So it was a good performance from the guys. Any other questions for the players? All right, gentlemen, you can head out. We'll have questions for a good. Oh, I, don't, I have to stay? <laughs> <laughs> You're ready. Yeah, you want was uh, you're leading one nothing at the half. 
obviously the conditions aren't good. You you, you want to be careful against a, a dangerous team like Stanford. What were the what were the instructions to the team in the second half? You could have you could have been the team talk in there, uh, Steve. That. Uh, be very careful, <laughs> very careful. It, it was interesting because the the and, and you saw it right away um, where the, the the goal that we were attacking the first half had some had some heavy spots where uh, you know the water was slowing it down and um, and that's that's pretty scary as a defender, right? And so we knew we were going to have to deal with that in the second half a little bit more and um, and and the and the, the goal that we attacked in the second half was was playable. We could we could play. It was it was wet, but it was it was um, you could connect a bit more, more I think sure footedly. So. Um, you, know, you know, today was a funny day. It's either it's either a day where there's going to be tons and tons of goals, or there's going to be a day where there's just not that many. And um, you know, it, 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 to be honest, it took a moment, moment of, of, of brilliance from from Sean Zawoski to to um, really set the game in, in our favor. Um, and and being up one nothing in a in a in a game with these kinds of conditions is is. Um, uh, uh, Invaluable, you know, you, you you can you can dictate the game a little bit. You can make it harder <coughs> as you need to. And um, uh, but I I, I I I think when you play a, a, a team like Stanford, you're you're not going to get a ton of chances. And then when you have these kinds of conditions, it just makes it even that more precious. Um, even even trying to play big balls, headers, clearances, it was just is really hard for those guys out there. Um, and um, you know, I I think. Uh, um, the thing that I'm, I'm, I'm most proud of with our group is that is that we easily could have been feeling sorry for ourselves, and this is going to be hard. It's not how we want it to be. It's not perfect for um, how we like to play the game. And, and you know, as as has been the case all year, the guys have uh, they just showed up and they said, "Well, what do we need to do today in these conditions against this opponent?" And and they figured it out again. So, um, uh, as a coach, I'm really really pleased to see them. Um, uh, evolve through the game. I think you could see it early. The guys were trying to figure out what they could and couldn't do. A couple of back passes that didn't work out so well, and a couple of square balls, and 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 suddenly, it's, I, I think they 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 sorted the game um, based on the conditions uh, really efficiently, and and they did it themselves. At the end of the day, when, when we got to halftime, they knew exactly how the second half needed to be played. And Zawaski shoots like that all the time, by the way. Like he, that's not a. <laughs> I'm glad it went in, but he's he, he's hit, he's hit crossbars against UW, and he hit a, an, a, an amazing goal in the Big East tournament from distance, and uh, you know, so it, it, it was a wonder strike in the setting. It was fantastic, but it's it's not a surprise he hit it. Any other questions for Coach? Uh, one step away again. You, you've been there before. Um, what's your what's your sense of this group being on the being on the verge? I, I think we are in a much more disciplined mental place than we were in 2012. Um, uh, and, you know, the, the, uh, the fact that, the, that, that we've been through this before um, as a program is, is hugely, hugely beneficial. We'll be in a much, much better um, uh, standing going into Monday or into the game on Sunday um, than we were, you know, seven years ago. Um, and the guys know that. I think, I think they're not happy. I think this group is... Um, uh, dead set on on coming in here to win two games, um, and and this was the first time all season where we overtly were talking about two games uh, over the week. Um, you're never going to look past Stanford. It's a it's a it's a College Cup semifinal. We don't have to worry about guys um, under undervaluing what this game was. But we really wanted to make sure the guys understood the the, the weekend is one when you think about it as a weekend and. Uh, uh, and so they're they're uh, they're in a very happy place right now, but I think um, uh, they'll be uh, dialed into what they need to be do. There's there's plenty of, of, of work to be done tonight, uh, and and uh, and the, you know I think they understand that winning the game on Sunday um, is 100% predicated on their mentality and, and taking care of uh, some details on in tonight and tomorrow. Thanks. Anything else for coach? Awesome. Good. Thanks, coach. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.